Welcome to my channel, people. This is Captain Hellasim coming to you from Bora Bora, one of my favorite places to fly in Flight Simulator. I am a lifelong fan of aviation. I'm not a pilot, but I've flown with flight simulators for decades at this point. I have watched many YouTubers and have enjoyed their content. I've learned so much from these guys and I really appreciate their contributions. And when all is said and done, I feel like I've got some things to add of my own. I really appreciate that Microsoft decided to include a couple of helicopter models in their suite of aircraft. Between those and some that I've acquired as free models as well as paid for models, I now have a suite of 10 helicopters that I fly regularly. And while they all fly essentially the same, they do have individual personalities that you have to adjust for and get used to. Moreover, as you're flying around, what feels like it looks right as you're in the cockpit, if you're on the ground, looks kind of odd sometimes. It looks like you're not flying quite right or straight or landing very smoothly or elegantly. And so I wanted to compare these different models and how they perform in the realism of their handling in the air and as they're landing. As a reasonable challenge, I chose the highest building on the west coast with a helicopter pad on the top. That would be the U.S. Bank Tower in Los Angeles. I chose the best of several landing attempts for each model. I made several landing attempts because it takes a while to get used to switching from one helicopter to another because their personalities are so different. The way they handle and respond are so different from each other. Now I'll just say up front that my favorite model is the Cowan Sim MD500E. This particular helicopter flies like an enthusiast thinks a helicopter should fly. Most models don't. Most you have to fight to get it to do what you want. This one more or less flies the way you think a helicopter should fly. And you can see here how it lands realistically wobbling in the air the way you've seen these kinds of vehicles do when they're actually doing it. You can even see that the struts slightly spread when the helicopter's weight comes down fully onto the pad, which is pretty impressive. No other model does that. Next up is the 206B3, also from Cowan Sim. Now you'll see here that it flies also very realistically, but unlike the MD500, which is called in the real world the Ferrari of helicopters and actually flies like one in the simulator. This one has a lot more heft, it has a lot more weight and you can feel that mass as you're flying this around. And so you handle this one differently. Obviously it took me a few attempts to uh, adjust to how it felt so that I could put it on the pad uh, to my, the best of my ability. Next up is the 429 by JXT, which is a freeware uh, model currently under development. Now the revision I have is 093, not everything works on it, but it flies very nicely in both cruise and hover. And so as you can see here, it moves externally very realistically, and it's, and it's a nice model to have. Now here I have the H135 from HPG. This is the freeware. Uh, they have a paid for uh, 145 model, which I do not have. This is the updated 135, which is using Microsoft's embedded flight model. 
and there's something a little strange about the way this flies. If you notice the way the vehicle is bouncing in the air, it is reacting very specifically to the collective as if the collective is controlling a pneumatic riser rather than being spongy in the air as you would expect a vehicle of this size and heft to move. So, to me, it just doesn't feel very much like a real helicopter. Next up is the 407 included with Microsoft's aircraft suite. Now this one I would consider about middle of the road. It flies nicely and it moves at landing relatively nicely. Um, I would say it's not incredibly realistic nor uh, credibility damaging. It's just maybe the standard by which the others are measured against. The last of the fairly large chopper models I have is the Gazelle SA342. Uh, the originator is, uh, I think, French. His name might be pronounced Cyril Piofet. And it was modified by Fafa 2021 on flightsim.to. Now, from the outside, I think it looks realistic in how it comes down. In flight, it feels like it's yawed a lot. And uh, even at full left pedal, it seems to fly diagonally. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But it flies stable in the air. It, it, it feels nice and it looks good from the ground. So thumbs up from me. So from here we move on to the lighter choppers. This is a Robinson R44 from Airland. It flies very nicely. And as you'll see here it comes in. It moves through the air very much like a real helicopter would actually move. So I really like the way this looks and feels from the ground and in the air. Next up is the controversial Schweitzer. This is a payware model and a lot of people don't like the way it flies. Admittedly, it is hard to get used to. It has a strange wobble and once you get used to flying this it's hard to get used to flying any other helicopter again and so it's very hard to get in and out of this model as far as flying it well. But as you can see it comes in just like a helicopter of this type would. It feels and looks correct. So I like this model. I don't fly it a lot because I end up suffering two bouts of nausea. Once when I get into it to adapt to its weirdness and then again when I start flying a different model and I have to go back to flying a normal helicopter. So I, I don't fly it a lot but I do like it and I think it's realistic so thumbs up. Next up is another of Microsoft's offerings in their aircraft suite, the diminutive Cabri. I like this model, I think it's very cute, I, I like to fly it around, pretending that I could afford to buy even this thing, which is actually fairly expensive. As far as uh, credibility, it's about on par with the 407 that Microsoft offers. It's neither super realistic nor credibility damaging. It's about in the middle, perhaps another spot from which to judge other small helicopters. I would say the Schweitzer, strangely enough, is more realistic than this. And last, and literally least, because of the small size of this thing, is the Mosquito by HCG. Now I used to fly RC helicopters and this is basically just a bigger version of those. And as far as its flight characteristic from the outside, the way it performs and handles and moves, I think it's very realistic. I've seen some criticism from others that don't like the way it feels as you're flying it. And I can't tell if that's realistic or not as far as what this this aircraft actually flies like. Uh, it does have a peculiar characteristic in flying and uh, 
uh, some people have a, a hard time handling it. I don't mind it. I, th I think it flies fine. Um, probably VR helps with that. Flying any of these vehicles on a flat screen would be very difficult. But I give this a thumbs up because I, I think it just looks very realistic. So if you stuck around this far, thank you for coming and listening. That's my roundup of my 10 helicopter models. I'm curious what you guys fly, what you like, what you don't like. Do you agree with my assessments? Have you noticed that some of these things fly differently than others and they look different as far as how realistic they are? Are there any pilots watching that can attest to how realistic the models are versus the aircraft they actually fly? In any case, I put links to all of the aircraft in this video down below in case you want to download them and try them out for yourself. So until next time, let the feeling of that rotor wash over you.